let us now study about cells in series okay so we have a number of cells okay we are going to count them in series that is one after the other like this way this is the first cell second cell third cell and then we have the fourth cell okay like this way so it will have just one common positive and one common negative will happen okay then we have a resistor this resistor here r and then each cell has an emf here xi okay let's imagine that they have the same emf okay each thing has the same emf xi okay this also has emf xi like this way now let's see the total emf okay so you, if you have this uh, you see torches also in torch and all we'll put three or four cells now so what happens each cell will have 1.5 volt if you have two cells means the voltage will be three volts you just get added up okay so we can say the voltage is n times the individual emf okay so the total emf is equal to n times the individual emf xi okay then let us see the total resistance now so what is the total resistance okay. the total resistance we see that will be each uh, cell will have internal resistance now okay small r okay because there are n number of cells okay, right here the total resistance is n times the internal resistance r okay plus the external resistance r here capital r okay this is the total resistance now let us see the formula current here according to ohm's law the current i is equal to the total emf by the total resistance the total emf by total resistance okay let's write let me write this side so i is equal to what will be the total emf you see it is n times psi divided by the total resistance is n times small r plus capital r okay so simple so this formula we're going to use it now so this is a current given of this combination cells in series okay so there are different cases here first let's see case a okay case a if um, the internal resistance is very much smaller than the external resistance okay the internal resistance is very much smaller than the external resistance what happens this is small means this term will vanish away okay n r terms vanish away so if i is equal to n into psi by capital r okay so we can use ohm's law and we can see this will be v by r now that is i okay so let us i is equal to n times i1 to show difference here okay where i1 is equal to this term that is um, xi by r okay so what does it mean okay this one formula here for current and this is the main formula here okay so this shows that the current increases okay so if you have a n number of cells the current will increase the current increases okay so we have we have many cells in series okay and if the internal resistance small means the current will total current will increase the voltage also will increase okay so that's the first part now let us go to case b okay case b is if um, this internal resistance is greater than the external resistance okay very much greater okay we have high internal resistance and the external resistance is very low okay what will happen so this is higher and this is r is small so we can neglect the capital r term here so what do happens is we get i is equal to n into xi by n times small r so n and n cancels so we get here i is equal to xi by r that means what the current is the same okay like that of the individual cell okay i'll write and show it to you so current due to the whole battery okay is the same due to the as that of a single cell as that due to a single cell So if the internal resistance is very big, okay, then the external resistance. What happens? There is no use of keeping in uh, series there. The current will be 
सेम लाइक हमने जस्ट वन सेल ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट द सेल्स इन सीरीज ओके सो वेन यू कीप सेल्स इन सीरीज वॉट एपन वोल्टेज विल इंक्रीज एंड द करंट डिपेंड्स ऑन द एक्सटर्नल रेजिस्टर ओके सो कैंडली मेक अ नोट ऑफ इट एंड राइट डाउन एंड सीट थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग